What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and the video review of the SEMA X8 SW, the limited edition. Now this is an exclusive black edition by Tenergy Corporation. It has, however, just about all of the features of the normal X8 SW. It does have the two megapixel Wi-Fi FPV camera, altitude hold, headless mode, does flips. It also got one key to take off and land and the two speed modes. So let's go ahead and open up the box and check this baby out. All right, here it is, the SEMA X8SW Black Edition, and it's looking pretty fantastic with the black and gold theme going on. Very, very nice. There's the Wi-Fi FPV camera and all of the parts like the props, the landing legs and the prop guards, which I will install in a little bit, is all snap in and snap off. Uh, the props go on just by a little quarter of a turn here. All you got to do is place this baby in, slide it in, push it down and turn it a quarter and it locks into place. And they also do give you the end caps on the top to place it so that it does not accidentally come off on you. So I'm going to attach those a little bit later. And they also give you a screwdriver and a plastic wrench as well. The landing legs also are snap on and snap off just like all of the other X8S models that I've done a review on and I've also done a review on the X8SC which came in the white version and I also have done a X8 Pro which I have just done as well uh, but do not recommend you buying that one because of some issues just like that the landing legs come off and just like this the landing legs snap in awesome awesome here are some prop guards i'm going to show you the prop guards now and there it is and all you do with these guys as well is just snap in and there's a little lever right here and just press it and pull it out notice that this black edition does not come with red levers so that is awesome so it does just blend right into the quadcopter so it is looking just fantastic all right let me go ahead and remove that for now so i can turn the quadcopter around and whatnot and also let's check out the battery that it comes with and it is a 7.4 volt 2000 milliamp proprietary battery guys there's a little button that you press and it slides right out and there it is unfortunately this model only comes with one of these batteries it would be nice to have a couple of batteries that come with the model so you have an extra battery so you can fly consecutively at least for a little while uh, it did not come with a uh, memory card i did install my own memory card to take photos and videos so that is just fantastic so apparently this model here also takes photos and videos via the wi-fi phone app as well as the micro sd card so that is just fantastic it's got the same old uh led lights on the bottom with some nice uh light fixtures there and on the top it is the triangular type lights as well all right so and we also have the on and off switch right on the top so that is the quadcopter now let's go ahead and take a look at the remote control uh, looking pretty nice with the black and gold theme going on as well now from experience of the SEMA X8SC uh, this particular remote control does not have great distance up to about 100 meters so you don't want to go too far but the good news on this model here is that it binds to the older transmitters here i have the x8hg remote control and this model also has the height hold altitude hold and this will bind to this quadcopter and give us about 400 meter distance so if you want you can get an extra remote control just like this one i believe they sell it separate and it is very very cheap in price maybe about ten dollars so you might want to invest in something like this or if not just don't go beyond the 100 meter distance 
uh, with this remote control. Now, let's take a look at some of the functions of the remote control. You got the throttle stick here and the pitch stick here. It comes in mode two, and that is by default. And we have some buttons on the top here. The one that's away, this one takes a photo. The one that's closer to the top, it takes a video. And this button here does flips. I don't really recommend doing flips on a big model like this, but it is capable of doing flips. And this button on the top here is a one key to take off and one key to land. So that is just fantastic. Now down pressing on the throttle, it is the trim mode so you can go ahead and trim your trims because this one does not have external trim buttons and you use your pitch and roll as well as the yaw to correct your trim and down pressing it again gets you out of the trim mode now down pressing on the pitch it is the speed changing button and it goes from speed number one to speed number two and that is a short press and a long press of it it is the headless mode and long pressing it again will exit you out of the headless mode now there's a bunch of ways to arm this quadcopter you can just throttle up and let go and it'll arm and if you hold down the throttle for few seconds it will disarm the motors and you can also arm and disarm the motors by both sticks to the bottom and in to arm and disarm and we also have that one key to take off and one key to land now to calibrate the accelerometer and the heading of the quadcopter both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros and both sticks to the bottom and to the left will calibrate the heading of the quadcopter so without further ado let's go and test this baby out all right, we are just about ready to go with the SEMA X8SW, the limited black edition by Tenergy Corporation. I have all of the prop guards inserted all the way around. I still have my micro SD card inserted in the camera. And so if we take a photo and video, it will record itself right to the micro SD card. But if you don't have the micro SD card inserted, you will need to download the Wi-Fi phone app which is called the SEMA FPV app and take photos and videos into the phone itself All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the quadcopter here and the light will blink fast and Turn on the remote control and at which time the light will slow down its blinking rate and up and down on the throttle Will bind the quadcopter to the remote as seen by solid lights on the quadcopter now let's go ahead and calibrate the gyro and the heading of the quadcopter by both sticks to the bottom and to the left and the lights are blinking and they went solid so let's go ahead and go both sticks to the bottom and to the right and the lights are blinking again and they go solid so we are good to go all right so now let's go ahead and turn on the phone here and go into the settings of your phone and go into the Wi-Fi section of your phone and there we have it Wi-Fi FPV hit that and we are going to connect to the network of the Wi-Fi FPV and here is the app the SEMA FPV app and there is the interface gonna hit the start and we do have Wi-Fi FPV so let's go ahead and take some photos and the page rolled up uh, telling you that it just took a photo so the camera is pointing rather straight so that is really nice so I got it pretty much level and is looking at the horizon so that is great so take another photo here take another photo here take another photo of the car and to the right side on that side and take another photo for good luck nice Okay, let's go ahead and hit that video icon and it turned red 
and there's a counter on the bottom corner indicating I'm taking a video. So hopefully it does not interfere with the same 2.4 gigahertz on the remote control. So let's go ahead and clip this baby onto the phone clip and it is upside down and rotated. It is right side up. So there's three different ways to take off with the SEMA X8SW. You can go up and down on the throttle that will arm the motors and then you can manually throttle up to take off. You can hold the throttle all the way down for a few seconds and it will disarm the motors. Now you can go both sticks to the bottom and in to arm the motors and then take off manually again or and you can also disarm the motors or you can hit that one key to take off and one key to land button and it will automatically take off. So let's go ahead and hit that one key to take off and land button. There you go. Automatic take off and it is going forward a little bit. So let's bring it back. The wind is kind of blowing it away from me now. So let's check this baby out. There you go. I turned around and it is still going that way. So that is the wind and not the trim. So let's go up in altitude just a little bit. So by default, you start off in speed number one. And we have those yellow or those golden props in the front. And we have the black props in the back. So you are able to tell the orientation of this quadcopter from a little far away. Now if it was all black props or all uh, gold props, then you will have a hard time orientating the quadcopter, but that is really nice. Yeah, even if it's far away, I can still tell which is the front. So that is fantastic. So we are taking a video at the moment and it is bobbing up and down for some reason there. So remember this remote control does not have great distance and we are uh, sharing the frequency with the Wi-Fi phone app. So be careful guys. It is known that they are, sh uh, they are on the same frequency. So sometimes they interfere with each other. Okay, so take a note of that. So we are taking a video. So let's just cruise and take some videos. All right, very smooth. Hopefully we took some nice, decent videos and hopefully there is no jello as well. So let's check out speed number two by depressing the pitch stick, short pressing it and double beep. And we are in speed number two and we do have a little bit more speed now. So that is fantastic. And yeah, it's got a little bit of pitch too. And now it is able to just scoot around pretty fast. Awesome. All right. Awesome, awesome. Now this baby here does flips, guys. So let's go ahead and see those massive big flips. Okay, hitting this button here and directing it. There you go flip to the right. Now you have to hold the button down and directional direction with your pitch in order for it to do the flip. All right, there you go. Couple of flips there and do a flip to the left. There you go, massive slow flip. You don't want to do too much flips with these guys or you will uh, burn out the motors prematurely. So this is basically a nice quadcopter for taking some videos and photos from the air. So it is not made to do all kinds of flips and stuff like that because of its sheer size. All right, so we have 
demonstrated some of the flip functionality. Now let's go and check out the headless mode. Down pressing the pitch, long pressing it, and we are in headless mode. Yeah, indicated by those beeps. And we are in a spin with the full yaw to the left. And we are controlling the quadcopter's direction with just the pitch and the roll. Coming back towards me while spinning and going away from me while spinning. So headless mode is working fantastic. And I did bind it facing that way. So that is the northbound. So when you push the stick forward, it'll go that way no matter which way the quadcopter is facing. And if I pull it back, the quadcopter will come back towards me and to the left and to the right all right and i do see that the lights are blinking because we are in headless mode and not lvc okay the yellow props are in the front oops but i'm in headless mode i forgot let me get out of the headless mode down pressing it and long pressing it all right we are out and now the yellow props are the front and we are back to the regular mode all right a little speedy not bad the lights are still solid, so we still have good battery life. Supposed to give you a flight time of around 9 minutes. Feels like we are getting pretty close to the 9 minutes though. So let's go ahead and perform the one key to land. Let's bring it in right here, right above the landing pad. And let's hit the one key to land. And it comes down rather quickly and it landed itself it didn't flip over thank you thank you and the motors have shut off nice i think i missed the landing pad by a lot okay we still got solid light so we still have some flight time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to oh look at the phone app it has Come to a blank screen so i'm not sure if i took a video so i'm gonna hit that video icon again nope i am not connected anymore guys so wi-fi phone app is not a very good connection here so i'm gonna reconnect so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this baby off and reconnect this whole thing to make sure everything is working so let's go ahead and turn this baby off Turn off the remote, kill the app. All right, let's go ahead and turn this baby back on. Turn on the remote. Up and down on the throttle, binds it. And I'm not going to go ahead and use the phone app to take photo and video. And we still connect it to the Wi-Fi network automatically. Now, let's go into the phone app just to see if, if we have video. There we go, we got Wi-Fi connection. But this time around, I'm not gonna use the phone app, but let's just check to see whether I have a video. Yes, I have a video. So that was successful. So I'm not gonna touch the Wi-Fi phone app. I'm just gonna use it for FPV. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this button here on the remote, and that should be taking a video now. So let's go ahead and arm the motors once again. Manually take off. There you go, and double blinking lights, indicating I'm taking a video. So let's go ahead and go up in altitude. And just cruise there for a minute. Do a little pan. All right, let's bring this baby down. Let me go to speed number two. 
Now you don't want to hold the throttle stick all the way to the bottom because it will disarm the motors. So be careful when you're descending with this quadcopter. So descend very slowly. Maintain at least about oh, 25 to 30 percent of throttle while you're descending. All right. So we have taken some videos for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the video button. All right. So let's bring it in and check the lights. And the lights are still solid. It is not blinking. So we still have flight time left. This baby here has a pretty long flight time. And I noticed while I was up in the air cruising around, uh, I did kind of lose connection with the uh, radio. So you don't want to go too far with this baby here. So if you want to go long distance with this SEMA X8SW, you will have to either connect it to some kind of other remote control such as the SEMA X8HG remote control and that should give you a maximum distance of about 400 something meters. I see that the lights are flashing now so let's go ahead and bring this baby down. I'm gonna hit that one key to land one more time. Let me go up in altitude just a little bit and hit that one key to land button and this time around it is kind of slowly descending check it out and it is descending by itself but rather quickly as it hits the ground and please don't flip over and the motors turn off automatically so this baby here is a little bit different than the SEMA X8SC that I've tested when that one landed it did some erratic kind of behavior and it always flipped over so you really have to hold your throttle down before it hit the ground and try to turn off the motors by both sticks to the bottom and in and do all kinds of tricks like that but this one seems to be landing very well nice all right just got done flying the SEMA X8SW the black edition by Tenergy Corporation and all of the functions worked very well uh, the headless mode worked flawlessly it did massive flips so that was fantastic and the one kilo takeoff and one kilo land worked very nicely and the main thing is this quadcopter did not flip over once it touched the ground I had an issue with the SEMA X8SC where it lands itself and it always flipped over so I always had to cut the motors just before it hit the ground but this baby here lands itself safely and the motors turn off so that is just fantastic however there was one issue where the Wi-Fi phone app did get disconnected and I lost everything but the photos and the videos are saved in the Wi-Fi phone app and hopefully it is saved in the micro SD card as well. Now this Wi-Fi FPV utilizes the same frequency as the remote control and when you go away at a distance where the remote control is starting to lose connection uh, the Wi-Fi phone app as well will start to have a little bit of issue as well and that is exactly expected. So keep this baby close to you when you are doing the Wi-Fi FPV and taking photos and videos and keep it near 100 meters. But if you are going to use a remote control that is different from this remote control like the older versions like the SEMA X8 HG remote control that is proven to give this baby here or the SEMA X8 SC uh, I haven't tested with this particular model but I will do a, another video with that remote control and do a little FPV and see what the maximum distance is on that baby and that one will give you about 400 plus meters distance so we're gonna go and check that out so there you have it guys the SEMA X8 SW the Black Edition by Tenergy Corporation. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we will see you again next time.